Welcome to the October Devil's Lake Water Improvement District Meeting Report. The Devil's Lake Water Improvement District held its October board meeting in the district offices on Thursday, October 7. The meeting was attended by approximately seven interested parties. The board of directors held an executive session preceding their regularly scheduled meeting. The board passed a resolution to move the next meeting to Thursday, November 11, 2010 due to conflicts of the board and staff. Members of the public provided comments on several items. These included an expression of appreciation of the efforts that have been made by the district to enhance communications to the public including the Clearwater newsletter, direct mail, brochures, booklets, improvements to the website and the addition of Facebook and Twitter accounts. There was an expression of concern about why we are proceeding with the septic program based on the results of this summer's Eccoli monitoring. One party was concerned about the current level on spending by the district. There was also one comment about the hydroplane races being two full days long last year. Several came to the meeting to inform the board that the Union 50 Club is for sale. There was an expression that it would be a great opportunity for development by DLWID or others in the community. The district released an RFP for an erosion study to determine if and how the lake level impacts erosion on properties surrounding Devil's Lake. The full RFP is available on their website. Submittals were initially reviewed in the September board meeting where some public commenters suggested the board give the project due consideration. Staff provided an overview of their formal review and provided a recommendation to the board to grant the bid to Tedratech. Bids received ranged from $24,414 to $69,588. The board discussed the proposals and decided to postpone the Dexon and invite Tedratech to make a presentation in the November meeting. On Saturday, September 25th, the LWID hosted a shoreline planting in conjunction with the SOLV Beach and Riverside cleanup. The planting took place on the 10th Street Canal, on 10th and Chetlow. The district has contacted the Oregon Parks and Recreation Department to investigate the possibility of a demonstration shoreline planting at East Devils Lake State Park. It was expressed that it would be a great site due to its visibility and could benefit from an interpretive sign. The Save Our Shoreline campaign is currently working with two property owners for projects to be planted this fall. Facebook and Twitter, with the goal of increasing communication and dispensing information easily and quickly, the district recently created a Facebook fan page. They have also worked on the connectivity between the district web page and to Twitter. The Devil's Lake Navigator has recently launched a Facebook fan page as well and has published tweets for some time now. You can follow these links to become a Facebook fan of each as well as a Twitter follower become a Facebook fan of Blewitt become a Facebook fan of the Devil's Lake Navigator follow DLWID on Twitter follow the Devil's Lake Navigator on Twitter please become a fan of Devil's Lake Water Improvement District and the Devil's Lake Navigator. Please suggest us to your network of friends. A new version of the Devil's Lake plan was forwarded to the board seeking feedback. They discussed the draft at length. The discussion included several suggestions of how to improve the plan. The board gave advice on how they would like to proceed with involving the pubic and agencies in this process. The board discussed the current lake level. It was reported that we have had significant rains last month and as a result managing the lake level has increased in complexity. In response the lake contractor pulled two north boards on September 17, 10, and pulled four boards north to south on September 19, 10. This appears to have compensated for the heavy rains, but as we transitioned into October the lake may have dropped to, or slightly below the theoretical value, established earlier to comply with the conditions of our permit, the state that inflow and outflow must be equal during this time of the year generally been the practice of the district to remove the dam in mid-October, so there are only a few weeks left in which the lake will be artificially controlled. The board directed staff to investigate issues related to the logs that are currently grounded in the Dee River. The district has concluded the summer monitoring program. Ecoli remained in a low-risk category with four failed test periods at the Dee River and Rock Creek sites. Thompson Creek topped the list with 12 failing samples this year. The district has committed to DNA testing on Thompson Creek and discussed plans to accomplish this goal. 
We finished the summer season without a cyanobacteria bloom therefore there were no posting this year. More information is available on the district's water quality pitch. Brian Green and the lake manager have encouraged the city manager and city council by letter and public comment to move forward with the creation of a septic tank ordinance. City staff is concerned about unknown staffing needs, the prioritization of inspections, the inclusion of all systems in the watershed and other city priorities. The city councillors expressed that they were comfortable waiting several months to allow city staff to work on unspecified other priorities. The district intends to attend the candidates' fair on October 9 to ask questions of the candidates for mayor and for council about their position on the septic ordinance. Several other items were discussed including reports by the lake manager on many important topics. The district has continued to work with DEC toward the completion of the work the district is performing under the 319 grant. The district mailed a brochure on shoreline planting to 500 property owners this month. A brief update was provided on the efforts of a group of residents near Regatta Park to create a lit for street paving and sewer installation. The board addressed certain routine issues such as maintenance of the district truck. Under the non-agenda items section there was further discussion related to the Union 50 Club building. The district expressed interest in investigating development possibilities.